Justine. All right, one of those toss-ups is Maine's 2nd Congressional District, where Republican Austin Terriot holds a slight lead against Democratic incumbent Jared Golden. Jared Golden is, uh, that's in the latest polling. He joins us now. Austin, great to see you again. Let me flip the script. What does your opponent have to say on the campaign trail about Kamala Harris? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. And uh, you hit the nail on the head in the previous segment. It's the economy. This election is about the economy. And uh, my opponent, Jer Golden, has done nothing but run from the Biden-Harris administration's uh, record on the failed state of the economy. Now that it's election season, uh, he's run away from Harris. He says he's, he doesn't know who he's going to vote for. He's unwilling to tell the main people who he's voting for. Uh, but he did support Biden-Harris in 2020. So this is a typical election year shenanigans. Um, he's, he's just got a record of doing one thing in Maine and then voting completely different once he gets to D.C. And to be honest, that's why we're winning this. That's why we're up in the polls, because the Maine people are tired of flip-flopping politicians like Jared Golden. They want change. They want representation. And they want to know where you stand. You can't hide. We, we need leadership. This is about leadership. And, and, and President Trump, we know where he stands on the issues. Um, we don't know where Kamala Harris stands on these issues. She's, she's taken every position, and Golden's been the same way. So talk about the economy, because as we look at the national poll and the economy is the number one issue, you say that is uh, also true in, in Maine. But uh, how is the economy doing? Is it, is it improved? Is inflation sky high like it is everywhere else? Give us a breakdown. We're getting hammered with inflation. I mean, I meet with uh, with people in small businesses every day. I meet with uh, you know moms and dads living on a fixed income and seniors. They can barely afford groceries. People are paying uh, you know twice uh, what they were just a couple years ago for fuel and groceries. Uh, we have an industry up here that's uh, very dependent on natural resources, whether it's logging, farming, uh, in particular the fisheries. Everybody loves Maine lobster, um, but my opponent, for example voted for the Inflation Reduction Act. Not mm -hmm. only did that not reduce inflation, but it's the reason that we have the electric vehicle mandates uh, popping up around the country. It's the reason we have the Green New Deal, uh, solar panels and wind turbines popping up in the Gulf of Maine, going to decimate the lobster industry. I mean, these are the issues that Mainers are focused on. It's it's reducing inflation, supporting our, our uh, critical small business industries, that's what I'm going to do when I'm elected. And we've just had a failure of leadership on the national stage. Jer Golden has a lot to answer for. Well, I'm sure rural Maine loves the EV mandate. They work really well in rural parts of the country. <laughs> Austin Terrio, thanks for being with us, and good luck in the race. We know uh, it's challenging, and uh, you're in the home stretch. So thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Folks can go to austinformaine.com if they want to help us. All right.